The passage we're going to be reading is from this book titled Woodward's Reminisc Reminiscences of the Creek or Muscogee Indians Containing Letters to Friends in Georgia and Alabama. It was published in 1859. As you can see, you can go on archive.org to get this actual PDF and download it and read it for yourself. I will also be posting a link in the description directly to this PDF. So if you read this passage here that I highlighted for you guys, it clearly describes who the Yamasi people look like and the Yamasi tribe is still um you know alive and going today with bronze people as a members because that's who literally made up really the vast majority of the americas in the first place but as we read here it says he describes the yamasis as having dark skins coarse hair thick lips and flat feet and as having inferior implements of war to the creeks dark skin coarse hair thick lips so the guy who published this in 1859 because these are letters don't forget that these are letters to people just made that shit up he just made it up huh that's why i don't allow comments on my tiktoks i don't want to hear what naysayers and deniers and people who got a mental illness because they don't want to accept the reality got to say okay and he said well what happens to the magic people well just like um in my previous uh reel or video depending on if you're watching instagram or tiktok or facebook or whatever um i read that comment talking about how those so-called five civilized tribes teamed up with the caucasians to you know try and get rid of us well, this is what was happening. It says here, a war of extermination was waged by the Creeks against the Yamasis. And finally, at Tallahassee, the last of the warriors were killed. Obviously, not the last of the war. All, not all of them were killed. They're still, like, prelating here today. But about a thousand of the young Cree warriors took sweethearts among the Yamasi girls and saved them from death. According to Alam on the Creeks, these were required to remain out of the nation a year for purification. Before the end of the year, the young warriors concluded to make yacht wives of the Yamasi girls. So they basically got why bronze women as their wives right and set up as a nation for themselves which they did and the creeks called these warriors seminoles so when you talk about the seminole indian seminole is actually a word apparently seen here from the creeks so seminole didn't even come from them seminole means wild wild man crazy etc these seminoles were afterwards joined by the outlaws and runaways from all the nations and soon became a formidable nation so that's how a lot of these so-called Native Americans back then got darker skin before they mixed in with a lot of the Caucasians and became lighter today. So they were never really um, indigenous to here anyway. But then people ask, well, why do some of the Mongoloids in like older pictures have darker skins? Because they mixed in with us. And a lot of times they just took our women when they were raging war with us. And in the battles that they managed to win, they took our women. Or if they couldn't, they just maybe went, you know, kidnapped them. And in other cases, you had, you know... Um, the bronze woman and the mongoloid Indian man get together willingly with no violence. So that's that. This is what the actual Yamasa people look like as written in a letter. This wasn't even um, supposed to be like published to the public. The guy who was writing these letters in 1860 or even before that didn't think this would be available to the public. So this is his actual thoughts and his actual description of the people that he saw with his own eyes. He wasn't working for nobody, he wasn't trying to, oh, I'm going I'm to make a lot of sense to the government or whatever. What agenda was he trying to push when he was writing letters to his friends?